We might have gotten lucky, Chad. Am I allowed to keep complaining or do I have to stop complaining now? These are the questions. I can keep complaining, right? Your deck doesn't really matter. It matters what you queue into. Again, these numbers are really low sample size. They're showing since patch and there's like no data, so those are completely meaningless. It would help if you saw what I'm talking about. I'll go for the fun card, even though it might be wrong. Fun. <laughs> shadow step plagiarizer. You get a colossal, you shadow step it. It's kind of hilarious. Should probably take this though. At least I can try to mixtape a Sunwall. I should probably take this. I don't think mixtape's that great. It's like fine, but it's not great, I don't think. No, there's one hit wonder. Probably not supposed to take the greedy value. I think it's just way too slow. I'll try the new card. I also think Shadow might be better. But like, I have a lot of ways to deal with small to mid-sized things. I don't have a way to deal with the big thing yet. So I'm going to try the new card, I guess. Gargoyle often surprises you. Ooh, tough crowd. That one's Outcast, which Outcast for Rogue can be pretty tricky because, you know, right now we don't have that generation, but if you have like jackpots or whatever, then it can make it like, if you ever play it, then you're never outcasting from the right. You don't need a dredge that bad, right? Next tab. Could just be the best card. There's jackpot. I might want it because I don't really have that much, um, I don't want that much of that value. Eviscerate you'd be taking really just for base damage. It, it does improve, improve our tempo by a little bit, but... People probably aren't that likely to play so many threats that we even need more at this point. I think I'm okay with, uh... Taking some value. Now I'll grab the Filet Fighter. Take the broken card. More tempo. Banshee's actually really good. But I mean, Flayfire is still probably better. Got this courier. Yeah, I have a bunch of pirates. That's cool. Embalmer's really good too, but uh, I think you just want that card. Second tough crowd. I have three ways now to already just hard remove stuff. It's the rogue problem. I have so many ways to just completely kill a minion. I don't, do I need another one? Ambush is probably better just because it's more proactive. It doesn't require an outcast and all that stuff. Grab a rowdy fan. Shadow step again is not insane. But I don't have enough really. <laughs> another tough round. They must have an offering bonus on the uh, on the new cards. I know a lot of people underrated this card immediately. We had a discussion on my Discord because there are people saying like, oh, this card's so bad because it's worse than Sap. And I'm like, well, Sap was like the best card ever made that was removed from the game for being OP. So a weaker Sap is still uh, very good. <laughs> I think I still take it. I don't really want Sticky. Sticky, I, it wouldn't honestly be bad, but just grab it. All right. You know, could we chill out with the tough crowds maybe? Swordfish is probably good. I have just like way too many things that already do what Assassinate does. I mean, these things are better than Assassinate sometimes, right? But this is potentially a good finisher. Hmm. Infuse four is a lot. I need threes, right? Like I probably just need three drops because you don't always want to play Courier on three even. A lot of our threes don't really like function as threes. It's also just hard removal, but yeah, I feel like um, Monocula is going to be a little slow. In Ruby and Egg, it's like I literally just have the Rowdy fan. That's that's it, basically. I mean, you could backstab it, but I guess I'll just grab this. It'll probably be good at least once. Why are there so many cards that kill things? Since I already have... I can't believe I'm even saying these words. Since I already have three silence removals, after I already skipped three silence removals, Infiltrator is probably better. Because if anything, Sunken Ear might be hard to combo. 
Like right now we have so many undeads that Infiltrator is probably the easier condition to meet. Sunken Ear for the Swordfish. That is true, but I want the four right now. Like just to be able to... I think I just want the four because it's going to be active on four a lot. Three combo minions. Not really enough. I guess I'll just grab this. Security. It's a kind of nice card. I don't really need a three drop. I think I could just afford a mixtape. Random bullshit is kind of nice. <laughs> so if my opponent always has a better deck than me, which they probably will... I give him like nothing but removals when I have no minions worth removing. Got him, chat. We could honestly go Draka though. I, I have the finale quest I need to finish, and Tony's a finale though. We have so like we have enough cheap shit that we could pretty easily get like a three or four charge, three or four attack Draka. That it's actually pretty good. But yeah, Tony is a pirate too, yeah. I think you just take Tony. Like, it's. We're gonna have a hell of a time trying to actually hold on to our cheap things. For Draka, like, it's probably just not. But Tony stealing our opponent's Colossal. It's a better meme anyway. And then I guess we just take Exarch again. Yeah, I don't really need. Like, I could take Loot Hoarder if I wanted a 2, but I don't feel like I really need that. It would help with some of our combos and stuff, but. Exarch's just useful. This is a pretty low rated deck, but um, I don't know, it seems fine. We have a lot of ways to remove things. Just um, it's gonna come down to random stuff, as as you would expect, right? It's definitely a low roll for Rogue, I think. It's a very good tempo deck, though. So we'll see. I don't know if like really good tempo decks actually work in this meta or not doesn't really work, so I guess I'll toss you. Especially with two backstabs, I think I'll toss it. I'll have the board with this, right? Remember when I tossed Backstab in my opening hand and now I have two of them? <laughs> Remember that? Be swift. Be swift. So even your hero portrait is telling you to speed up, bro. Come on, bro. Is Warrior still top tier? I think it's top tier. It's not like it's not like the clear number one or anything anymore though. Playing this was also reasonable, but I guess if he AFKs I'll just play this. We already have better luck. In this game than last. Keep seeing mages and death knights. Yeah, I think the thing is that um, I think mage and death knight are just more popular now. Are going to be more popular now. Just because people like them more. It happens anytime. You know, anytime priest is good or mage is good, you just, everyone picks them. Every time. You know, it's basically mage, priest, and paladin that everyone always plays. When they're good, so. And maybe Death Knight too. I'm not sure how people feel about Death Knight though, just because of um, what it did to Arena for a while. <laughs> I could dagger and then that would let me like re-dagger with this. Probably makes sense with our current hand. Because then on turn 4 I can, if this is still alive, I can re-dagger and then also go Bone Spike Alchemist. Seems pretty nice. Oh god. I think I lost. Well. 
Bone Spike saves us, actually. There's a real world where I backstab this because it would prevent a activation on if he has a noxious infiltrator. But honestly, if I was going to do that, I'd just kill this instead of this, right? Yeah. Like, the only reason to kill this is if you're afraid of, like, shadow step or something, but I'll just kill that for that, for the undead reason. He also has Bone Spike. Oh, he has Paparazzi too. Yay! DK is a fun class. Yeah. I think it is for... most people, still. It's probably mixed because it's just... People, a lot of people, if you're construct, if you play a lot of constructed, you're probably sick of Death Knight in in standard too. But I guess Death Knight arena is still pretty different. Maybe I just play this. What shall I do? Play a fully fire, kind of force a hero power. Can I threaten just like the value trade? I think it would just be more if you played because it's I think it's different enough that it's fine as far as like standard versus arena. The one thing that would make you really hate Death Knight is if you just played a whole shit ton of Death Knight release meta. But you only did that if you liked playing Death Knight yourself, so yeah, most people probably still like Death Knight. I didn't check, did they influence I didn't check if they influenced the discovery rates at all. Doesn't look like they did. Oh, did they fix the paparazzi bug? Yeah, it looks like they fixed the paparazzi bug too. Doesn't stop my opponent from having paparazzi though. The bug was that this card was showing up like a common in the classes that they micro adjusted, which meant priest, hunter, and uh What was the other one they buffed? Is it Warlock? I don't remember, it might have been Warlock. It's mainly Priest and Hunter. I think also, yeah, I think it was also Warlock. We're getting this card offered as a common. It's funny that even with that, Warlock was still completely dog shit. <laughs> um, I can Blood in the Water this. I could go like Saber. I have two different pings, so I can go one, one, four. That's probably better than Blood in the Water for sure, right? I would think so. Do I care enough about this now? Because this would be good to get down. Maybe I don't care enough. I mean, it's a super clean rush. Totems might be annoying. Man efficiency, blah blah. Water.
Okay, I can go for the six, but I pr I really do want to get this down. I can do it with backstab here, power and alchemist. Too bad I can't backstab this. He's going to be really bothered by this, seeing that we just played this. Yeah, it's like the worst one. Is there only concoction guy too, right? I haven't seen a lot of concoction guys. Did they nerf it? No, they most certainly did not. Warlock doesn't feel so bad, just doesn't have generation. The thing is, is that, yeah, I mean, that it's exactly that that makes it, like, just too fair of a class, I think, though. They have, like, Demonic Dynamics. They have Fiddle Fire Amp, right? Like, they have some, but it's, like, most of their cards are just too fair. I don't think I want that. Oh, I do want that. I think I will take his deck over my deck at this point. He's going to naturally draw my jackpot and I'm going to be salty about it, but... um. Ah! Nice card you have there, sir. Watch him draw my jackpot immediately. It's like the only card I don't want him to have, really, is the jackpot. Fuck. Also, why do I have two sunken ears in my hand? I drew two of his sunken ears immediately. Okay. Really now. Do I just sunken near that? I can kill with a shark. I guess I kill it with a shark, huh? I mean, I don't have much use for all of these, but if I like, I might not be able to combo these. Yeah. Just keep hard removing everything. Why do I have, like, literally five hard removals? I mean, I guess it's only four. He thinks his deck is better. He thinks my deck is better than his. For some reason. But that's an ambush. We know that. This had to be the card I got immediately. None of my cards do anything. I just have to like play this, I guess. Well, I guess I save my. I guess I actually just save my poison then. No, he's gonna get the other poison. Um. Let me think. So, I mean, I'm definitely just playing this.
Do I just go full tempo? I guess. I'm almost dead, by the way. Let's muddy the waters. I think I might have heard that Tony shuffles your deck, so we actually have a chance of drawing the uh, Sunken Saber. Oh, he just has a zero mana Convoke, nice. Isn't Tavern Brawl fun? I love when I queue Arena and queue into Tavern Brawl on accident. Arena, but it's actually Tavern Brawl. Looks on you, this week's Tavern Brawl is a co-op one. Oh, is it? Is it the one where you beat, like... It's one of the event ones, right? It's... Oh, yeah, you have to, like, team up to beat Diablo. And then you queue naturally into some moron that doesn't... Or they don't necessarily... They're not necessarily a moron, but they might just not... They might just not be aware, and then they start trying to kill you instead of actually doing the co-op mission, right? Why am I still playing this game? I mean, Bog Beast might do something. Okay, that's kind of bad. This guy drafted a scribbling stenographer. Fortunately, we have a corporal. Do I keep you? I don't have a lot of threes, so I guess I do. I'd have to like toss like every removal card because otherwise we just draw too much. And then immediately we uh, underdraw it naturally. Well, this is the best card in our deck because he's a warrior, so every card in his deck is better than our best card probably. I mean, to be fair, Tony is the best card because it lets us have his deck, right? So... Hmm. So I can try to swordfish him, but if I miss, it sucks, right? I think we go poison first, just to be, like, kind of safe. If he plays, like, a taunt, then I swordfish through it, probably. He gets, like, one extra proc, maybe, but... Huh, that's good. Now we're safe. Don't even need to hit a pirate. Good thing, because I didn't. Um, do we just want Bog Beast, maybe? Because I don't know that I... Maybe I just want Backstab instead. Obviously, Bog Beast is cool for turn 6, but... The Backstab might allow us to turn our weapon into 4 damage a single time. But Bog Beast is pretty annoying. I don't know. I'll go for that. Let's not order this.
Really? No. Constructed Rift Warrior. Appreciate it, Air Blunder. Ooh. Do we move on to the next game? Not yet. Okay, that's really bad for us. Well, I mean, at least I have one to answer his. Ah. Right. He just has another one that's bigger. Well, that was the best draw in our deck. Now he's just going to pull it up with doubled stats. You know this. This also has a Nelly, by the way. Can you at least pretend like you're not actually queuing a Constructed deck? Like... Does Constructed... They, I guess Constructed Rift Warrior probably doesn't actually run the Stalwart combo, though. Do they? Oh, they replaced it? I think they replaced it with the uh, new card, the Lifesteal. Maybe. Well, at least I can return this. I actually, it's funny how I, I'm complaining, but I actually have like all of the perfect answers. I guess I'll do this. Do I want to just tempo this? You don't get whirlwinded by this class really, right? If I had known, I could have uh, not taken five, but... Uh. Does that cancel all the pirates? Yeah, the, there's no pirates crew anymore. It's just gone. Uh, he just also has the best, the best other card to play. I think I'm just gonna bog beast. Oh, make a large lad. If I get a, if I find another removal, I can do that. Oh, we also have convoke. I think I will just uh, yeah taunt it for now. Hopelessly attempt to knock away his armor. Surely convoke will carry us. This also has imbued axe. Might or magic, I'll withstand it all. I should have known when the name was in Chinese that it was a bot Chinese account. <laughs> I guess. Apparently. Exarch's very Exarch Boon is a thing. So I have seven damage to kill his taunt. Do the Exarch boon, there's a small chance that he can't kill the Exarch. You kind of have to boon because otherwise you're just going to die. This is just apparently this is a standard one in one deck in this meta. He hasn't played a single card this entire game straight up that isn't a premium yet. 
The worst card he played was Weapons Expert that drew him an Imbudax. That was the worst card he's played this entire game. He's played every card that he drew but, but before turn 7, except for one. In other words, he actually has no bad cards in his whole deck. Drafting diff. Yeah, this is this is how you this is how you employ skill. You just mass retire until you get until you draft a literally constructed deck. I, like why why would you do anything else? Like come on. <laughs> okay, I think we might have gotten. We might have gotten lucky, Chad. Um. Am I allowed? Do I, am I allowed to keep complaining, or do I have to stop complaining now? These are the questions. I can keep complaining, right? Why is this zero mana? I guess Lunar Eclipse, right? Yeah. Uh, do I want this? What do I want a card in my deck? Take a card, I guess. Complain and twin is a thing. It's really the best thing. I don't know what's more ridiculous. What our opponent did, curving, like curving perfectly into Nelly with an Imbudax, or the fact that he's going to lose. I'm not allowed to complain for the next 4 minutes 30 seconds. So basically after I high roll that Convoke, I, I get on 5 minute complaining cooldown. That sounds pre pretty fair actually. Oh god damn it. Sunken Guardians screwing me. Look how unlucky I am, chat. This is not what we stood for. Can I get that silence back? I also have a 32-32 if the game somehow lasts that long. Well, that was a thing. I should have a minus one constructed player. Well, it's one. It's minus one general Hearthstone player, so that that fills all the boxes. I do want this card, but I don't think I. Maybe I do keep this. How is this? Not doing good in the Mulligan one, right? No one keeps it. <laughs> Welcome, Havakash. One one. Kill me. The question is, do I trade the 2-2 two, two to protect the 2-4? I kind of want to, but like, he's probably going to kill it anyway, let's be honest. And I kind of want to... Uh... It's just like... 
Yeah, like the three mana weapon, he still kills it. If it's imbued axe, he can't. That would be like, imbued axe would be the way to kill this that I'd be protecting from. Imbudax is less likely now, but uh, yellow. I can play this now. This is a Sunfire turn. He already coined. I don't really want woodcutters. This is like the only one I want, right? It's the one that might be better than a weapon. Actually, I just play it now. Uh, I have a choice of any of the three cards he's played. Maze Guide, Sus Pirate, Crazed Hawk. But I could also just hold on to the mixtape for later, because I probably want to hold it for later, right? He's gonna be able to kill my guy, but he kinda did his job. If he's playing an Imbued Axe to kill that, it's pretty bad for him. Does Rogue have good weapons? You can get the, the new weapon, um, you can get another, uh, another Swordfish maybe. I guess I'll do this. See what we get. Huh. I guess I will just play that. Uh, the two ones get kind of dealt with, right? I don't have shadow spells, do I? Is anything a shadow spell? Is ghostly? Ghostly is probably a shadow spell, actually. I wish. I wish the tracker would ever work. That's not even a shadow spell. Um. So I don't think I do. Your shadow? No. I guess I'll just play this. He can, uh... He can, like, use one of the one ones, but I don't really care that much. Shadow Step is the only shadow spell for Rogue. I think there's others. No, there's like six. Shadow Demise, Shadow Step, Breakdance, Deafen. Deafen's the new one. Dora Shadows, Harmonic Hip Hop. I'd have to outcast this so I could I could do that, but I'd have to play it like with this. Pretty good though. If I do that, I prevent him getting all the buffs. But honestly, like I just let him buff something and then I outcast that, right? Seems to make more sense. How complicated. I actually shoot him in the face with this, right? I'm going to leave up a 1-1 one -one if I do that. I'm gonna going to anyway. Was there a better way? There might have been a better way. It's just like if I if I shoot that thing, rush into there, hit into there. I guess I could have killed the one one, but he would have gotten an extra buff. It was probably worth it. Yeah, you kill the 1-1, one -one, but you miss 3 face damage, and he also gets an extra buff. So it's like... Debatable, I guess. Okay, mixtape, I can go for either Sword Eater or Mothership now. Or Anima, even. Hmm. 
Mothership. Mm. I guess I value trade the Mothership. That, I guess. Yeah, it might have been the previous spawn on meta. Yeah, there used to only be three, but I guess there have been a bunch of new ones. Well, yeah, Breakdance, Deafen, and Harmonic Hip Hop were all pretty, are all pretty new, right? Ah, it's like near greetings. I'll do this. Actually, you know what? I guess I could have gone Rowdy Fan. I forget where the one drop was on the right, right? I could have gone Rowdy Fan Ambush. Tough crowd, that would have also worked. But then he just plays it again, right? He's like, oh crap. Don't worry, your dragon's not gonna die. Oh, okay, your dragon might die, never mind. Yeah, I may have lied. You Just mirror to show the minus three before I actually hit him, those were Okay, Jackpot was a big part of winning that other game, but I probably don't keep it. Ah. Okay. Mixtape, I can get a chorus riff if I want to. Ah. A 2 mana 4 2 weapon, excellent. At least it's not a sword eater. I could mixtape that if I wanted to. Or you're sweating right now? Yeah. So this is indeed permanent to attack. It's what I thought. I could just play Chorus Riff if I wanted to. Probably already lost. We'll see. I mean, we have to win with the scam of jackpot again. Huh. Giant ass minion, nice. Well, now I can steal his guy. It's a three out of four, though. I might miss. But I, I should try to steal the drum soloist. Nice. I 
I would hope he doesn't have an answer for this, I guess. He's <laughs> the face tank and I even kill it, okay. Um Arcanist Pank Stamp Bone Spike. Or I can just sap it. And then kill it next turn. Problem is if I sap it, you know, it only costs three mana, so you just replace it. Maybe it's better to just... Well, it doesn't really make sense right now. It's kind of awkward. I could get this buff now. Then I don't backstab. No, I still would have to backstab. Actually, I forgot I needed to do it the other way. Wait, so what did I have to do? I had to go backstab jam. I had to do jam session first before this. Yeah, whatever. Might have lost because I didn't do that. Cannot sap that. So if the problem is if I do this and then I if I don't draw the cards really bad, I think I might just wait a turn because I don't really have to spend mana because I'm a rogue. So I'm just gonna wait a turn. Yeah, I messed up. Like I should have. Um, I'm probably gonna lose because I fucked that up. Actually, directly because I fucked that up. But like I needed to jam session second in the turn. I had to backstab, then jam session, then play the spell damage. Oh, game seems to be over. Well, let's see. Because I think he would have he would have swing the weapon in. He would have just had five less health. But it looks like actually I'm not getting there anyway, so it didn't actually matter. Even if he had five less health, I still couldn't win. Also, I wouldn't have had the answer for those divine shields. So toxic to the touch. Alright, so the problem is if I win plays to just let this trade happen, but then how do I win? I probably have to do this and hope that it miraculously... He might not be able to actually get the Divine Shields again. But you're asking? Yeah, it's like the reason I couldn't do it anymore was because... It's affected by spell damage, so I would clear off my own board. I guess I could have killed off my 2 2 still, because it doesn't hit your own guy. But I could have still done it and just let my 2 2 die. But I mean, this guy just has a god deck again. Every warrior has a god deck still. <laughs> it does appear. I mean, he just kills this.
By keeping this, I can actually play a finale to Tony. It's under those definitely not winning lines, but yeah. Oh. Oh. What is this? Oh yeah, that thing. Why didn't he buff the lights too? I mean, I guess he wanted to buff giant fish. That's seems like a terrible play though. I get why you want this to be bigger, but I mean, I'm a rogue. I've already shown. I guess it's because I've already shown four hard removals. He's like, they never have five. We have a chance with Sunwall. How do we ever get a Sunwall? Oh, you meant if we already if we had hit a Sunwall off of this? I think it'd be too slow anyway, though. Yeah! Now we're just we're just straight up dead. If I had one mana. Yeah. Be great. Yeah, the ten mana gardens grace that'll that'll do it. It's another Chinese account too. Yeah, we just need to play one more finale. That's my goal, and then I'll just never play this game again. <laughs> one more finale. I mean, I need to like completely reset my deck tracker. It's so laggy now. It's unbelievable. My fan just went on. Like, my computer. F I'm just trying to click around in there, and my computer fan went like harder than I've ever heard it go in my entire life. Harder than I've, it's ever gone while editing video, while having 50 Chrome tabs open, while also playing Hearthstone while also recording on OBS. Just doing deck tracker made my CPU fan act harder than any all of that combined. I don't understand how that app is so inefficient. Do I keep this? Probably? I know when the Warriors wasn't, actually. All right, we did a chat. I just need to remember the playlist. Hmm. I was hoping to play this on curve, but now I just want to dagger this. Hmm. Okay. I might tempo this. <laughs> Actually, I, if he plays another minion, I can't tempo this. Damn. I mean, I can. I would have to. Uh, I would have to take three extra. Would have to buff this. Oh, new plan. Of course, he hit divine shield. What else would happen? Alright, next turn I get to steal his deck though. I don't know if stealing mage cards is that great, but... Because you're not going to have enough bullshit. But who knows. I'm going to coin a poison musician this time. I see it now. Oh, Accolade. That's not scary. We did it, we finished the quest. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh that was that was good. Normally mages don't have that many of those. Um normally. Unless they're queuing into me. How is it I played Tony twice and both times they've had super giga premium cards and they've had multiple both on top? How uh, I get to find out what the next one is.
Oh wait, no, it's gonna draw from my deck. Wait. I'm also dredging his deck, he's not gonna have pirates. And it might also give it to him, because he might kill my Tony. This kinda sucks actually. Still do it, right? It's just... Time's ticking. Maybe I don't actually want to take... Do this. Getting fucked by my own synergies. But yeah, that's what I was worried about. I was, I was likely be dredging for him, so maybe I should have given him the rowdy fin. I just have too many removals. Fuck. Well, he doesn't have an undead die. This really sucks because it's gonna give it to him too. I guess I can um maybe I just kill it instead then. Yeah, I mean, it might activate again. It's just that he doesn't have it right now, but very likely just give it to him again. Do I want... I guess I just want to swing. Random! Random counter spell? Nope. At least that Rowdy fan got surprising value, even if it was mostly as a combo activator, but it basically traded for a Darkfall and Shadow as well. Now, this is the one turn. I have the awkward turn where tough crowds aren't truly really going to be activatable. I appear to be dying. That would activate the thing. Wait, does this... Well, no, it's a friendly undead, right? Um, I might want greater arcane missiles. Oh, I get the divine shield immediately. It's pretty good. I probably just take cold case for the healing potential. I thought I squelched him. Oh yeah, yeah, you mean the, uh, yeah, the shadow would have, yeah, absolutely. And one of my, uh, one of my five sixes would be dead. He, uh, figured out where the place is, Chad. Good thing we have a cold case. Oh no, he is our career. Oh no, a big game hunter. He's trying to kill me, chat. That is a hell of a draw. At least we had a good Tony game. Got one of our tough crowds too. We make secrets, 
Two random mage secrets. Uh, Ice Bear does keep him alive currently. Nope. So many skeletons. That feels like a decent minus one too, right? We got the finale. <laughs> I try to run it back. Honestly, I kind of want to. I'll look for other things here though. Uh, I kind of regret everything. The one problem is, is that, um, you know, the mage had an issue that some of the rogue cards were less good for them. A warrior, on the other hand, can actually use things like, um, courier if they draw it. Okay, if he kills this, he activates our infiltrator, so. Heavy ball redeemed. It's a large loud. Well, exactly what we're hoping for. Forced a bit of an kind of an overreaction. Not really an overreaction, because it's kind of necessary, but. So now we just slam Tony and I guess fetch trade. Poison's probably gonna get dealt with. It'd be really nice if we had a backstab to protect our poison, but we don't, so. Could draw one. You know what else is. Funny though, it's not guaranteed, it's 3 out of 4, but we could mix tape to try to hit those. But... It's actually funny. I assume the uh, tracker... Like it showed that we drew backstab. The tracker is really funky with some of these type of things. So apparently the top card was backstab, I guess. Ah, greetings. It's not the worst idea to sap that, but no, I'll save it for something else. I could buff up the sword eater really big. Seems pretty nice, actually. Sword Eater and then buff, and then this trade clears, right? Seems pretty good. I don't see anything else that really makes all that much sense. If he somehow gets through this, then, like, this is a threat, but uh, 8 is hard to do. It's more than what the, uh, dragon, the rush dragon, would be able to do. Okay, I can go mixtape Sunken Ear on that. I may also just tough crowd it. I'd probably just tough crowd it. Not playing on execute. Well, the other plays are going to involve me trading with this anyway, so it's going to get executed regardless. Astonishing. 
Ding, ding. Oh, wait, he's drawing from my deck. Oh, yeah, my deck has nothing. I forgot. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, now he has giant heart removal. There's Backstone. I can sap one sunken near another. If I want to, I can also just draw cards. I mean, I could sap one, sunken near one, backstab one, push four. It's not lethal though. So I can draw, or I can try to hit Book Fist. Where do you start with draw? That's nice. I'm losing like it could have been smart to save one proc for an easy execute target like I could have just bumped this instead of using this but I mean I don't really need to execute when I have all these two why okay I mean I was gonna do this but I mean now I just execute it Wow. So, no way I lethal him, right? Oh, let's do it like this. You Zeddy with the raid. What is up? Appreciate it. Have you been playing much arena lately? I saw you were doing achievements earlier on. You have any set achievements? Oh, you just finished them? Nice. Yeah, we just have this deck where we have a million ways to silence remove stuff when our opponents keep playing like taunts that we can silence remove. It's pretty glorious. You lost every game to the new Paladin Shaman weapon. Yeah, I unfortunately am yet to encounter that, and I will enjoy the mo the mode less once I encounter that, probably. The card actually, I think, wasn't even doing that well in the win rates is the funny thing. Like, it's really good, obviously, but it's not even, like, an outlier. It's just... Crazy. There's so many strong things. Actually, its balancer is completely broken. Where is that weapon? What's it called? A oh, Horn of the Windlord? Oh no, no, it's like, it's really high. But it's below Command and Neptual and Pack the House and stuff. They made Pack the House way less common, so it looks like now if you have Pack the House, you just have a way better deck than everyone. Stealing all the Warriors deck has been a really good strategy. We do have a Tony in this deck, and that has been... um. That has been crushing, actually. When we get forced to play Rogue, we just play Tony so that we become a warrior. That is the strategy. Arcanist, Bone Spike on five. Looks like I'm just going to, well, I, first of all, I'm going to steal whatever he just dredged up. Well, well, second of all, first of all, I'm going to bone spike. Second of all, I'm stealing whatever he dredged.
You see, this is why I always try to steal cards from my warrior opponents. Because this is the weakest card I've seen from like three out of my last four warriors. This would be like the worst card in their deck. Oh. Please don't have a sword eater. He's not coining. This place is scary. One more win. Yeah, this is the critical win for the six to nine betters. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't really prevent this, so I'm gonna let that go. I may I may put this down so that the infiltrate will go off. The thing is, like, he can't even, even if he wanted to, he's not really able to develop, like, a target for this and then also a target for this. So maybe I just go with this first. I, I don't have anything else I can really do on my mana this turn, so... I guess I just do this, and I could tempo this for pressure. Maybe I do. I guess I do. No music? There is music. It's just not very loud. That's what we were hoping for, we get that value trade. Could have also kept this at full and then like traded with this, but let's just tempo things and then complain when something bad happens. Sounds like a good plan. Oh yeah, we would have this combo. <laughs> Still have a ghostly strike and two backstabs that also work. If it wouldn't be me losing the game at once, at one moment. Nice. I know that's a card jam session, but it's like, I mean, I wanted to throw one down because I feel like we need to push. Obviously, we had the Gromosh to. Theoretically, push more, but... Let's see. Oh my god, climactic Necrotic Explosion. I don't think you're supposed to be able to generate this. <laughs> it is bugged, apparently. Anyway. I think I'll actually give this up, because I want to be able to... Just keep pushing more. Um, this is useless, right? I'm just gonna play this. This is gonna be an anticlimactic explosion? I'm not sure, it might just blow him up. <laughs> Can't combo this. <laughs> Discover a taunt minion. Might or magic. I'll withstand it all. I literally Oh my god. We are legendary! Did it, chat? 
So I'm pretty sure what well, we beat. So in this run so far against we played like four warriors. We beat one of them with a convoke and we lost to one out of the four out of five that we beat. We beat one with convoke off a of jackpot and we've beaten the other four or the other three all with their own cards. Sounds about right. Remember when Priest was the card that would kill you, the class that would kill you with your own cards? Fabrish Farms members. Yeah, in, in all cases, it's been random bullshit. And I think they reduced the amount of like steel stuff that Priest has. We know they did a while ago. I think they might have reduced it even more. So now Rogue is literally Priest. Look, another warrior. I mean, look at this. People act like us streamers are making things up. Just look at like... We faced a terrible Death Knight. And then a Rogue beat us. And then Warrior, Warrior, Warrior. And we beat a Mage. And then Warrior, Warrior. And now yet another Warrior. Isn't it cool how the meta is new and different? I literally didn't even play this many warriors last meta. Hmm. Remember when I had a card on the board? Let's see what the surprise will be this time! What the fuck?! Technically, new is not the same as different. Uh, tell Blizzard that. Nice. Here it comes! <laughs> Cowbell is cowbell. Boom! This is the most exciting thing I've ever seen. Do I want to uh, go full tempo here? I probably do, actually. I mean, what else am I doing in this game? Losing slowly? Seems like a plan. I mean, I'm probably losing quickly this way, but that's fine. Are we ready for the second blade storm? Oh yeah, and congratulations to the six to nine betters. I mean, never say never, but I'd be shocked if we get double digits with this. You never know. It's certainly possible. When you have random bullshit, you can possibly beat everything. It's just unlikely that happens four times in a row. Do so you actually have a demon? Oh yeah, of course. Do they have a demon? Yeah, they have that demon that every every single warrior. I don't think I've queued into warrior that hasn't had three of those yet. They they literally just all have that. Hmm. Actually, I can kill that and also play the six. What shall I, do? I guess I do that. Uh, it's not really ideal to use all your removal on something like this, but... I mean, I'm just going to draw more removal, right? Also, I could potentially mixtape these later, which is actually really good. Yeah, on the bright side, we can kill it. On the bad side, on the, on the downside, we've probably lost already. But... I daggered once, right? So one more dagger makes that thing three mana if we steal it. Right now, that's probably the best steal target. I could steal a sword eater too, but... Every warrior just has a million taunts. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't need to do this this turn. Maybe I want to wait until... He's played more cards. 
Because I might just get like more of this. Because this would be better than the other thing anyway. <laughs> but we have the board. Yeah, yeah. Arena, the mode where uh, board matters. Oh yeah, you're right. They didn't actually play it. Yeah, I, I forgot. I, I forgot that my warrior p opponent played a Dirge of Despair. How the fuck did he even- Oh yeah, guys, still okay. <laughs> I forgot that my warrior opponent played a random warlock spell, my bad. But yeah, you, you are right. You're paying closer attention than me. What's up, trolling dumb? Off am watching YouTube videos. Top three favorite arena streamers of all time. Me, me, and me. No, I'm kidding. But, um... Crip? We're talking about all time, like Crip. Definitely one of them. Um, who else? I'm not sure actually. I don't really have any other ones that were like particularly stand out. To be honest. Shady Bunny for sure. Yeah, Shady. Shady would be one of them. And then, like, I like almost all, all, almost everyone that's ever streamed Arena. I, I like almost all of them, so. Like, none of the other two, like, Crip and Shady are definitely the two that stood, stand out as the ones I would say were my favorites, so. Do I have a taunt minion? Um... I literally, I literally do not have a taunt minion, do I? No. I already drew Bog Beast, that's my only one. So, I guess I just take Shield Ball, because right now I, I need to just try to find Jackpot, right? It's the only, it's the only thing. Blood in the water. I almost don't want to give him this, but... I mean, he's never going to dredge it up, right, Shirley? I might actually want the dagger charge, because I have this. Like, if I draw, like, courier and I use the weapon, I'd feel like an idiot. Yeah, shoot, every arena streamer has their own, like, upsides and stuff. I need Tony, come on Tony, please. My opponent's played like 16 taunts already and he hasn't even had 16 turns. I need a pirate, I need Tony, right? Fuck. Um. This will not be active. I won't have a combo for this either. I mean, this is the only pick, I guess. It's a disaster, though. Yeah, we have absolutely no chance in hell no. I mean, Vala Apothecary would have to give us Convoke. Basically, we have to get other class card in to Convoke and then have some miracle, right? That's our only, that's our only out, I think. It's nothing else. Or something equally bullshit, right? It's not it. Oh yeah, I know Shanadachi. Shanadachi, I mean, is the all-time god of Arena. Yeah, I watched him a lot even though he was in Russian and I didn't understand what the fuck he's saying.
course. Jokes on you, I can fire your deck. Why is he trading? Ah, he stole our jackpot off of his one draw from our deck. can't really take damage, so. I don't even know what minion can save us. I don't think there is one. Well, that wasn't close. Realistically, we should have gone three wins, but we were able to scam a bunch of other warriors. That also had god decks. Uh, that is arena. Either you have the god deck or you're just hoping that random bullshit happens. Now, remember when this mode was strategic? 